what's up, I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Evolve Golf One. Now today we're gonna improve your game by giving your body the tools it needs to excel on the course. Now put your clubs aside, cause this ain't the driving range. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take our feet nice and wide right here. Hands on our hips. We're just gonna shift our weight to the right, up through center, over to the left, up through center, nice and small. And as your legs start to get warmed up, you can take your hips back just a little bit further so you get a tiny bit deeper of a lunge right now. When you're ready, we're gonna start adding some arms. Up and over with the arms, tap the top of the thigh. Up and over, tap the top of the thigh. Nice and slow right here. I want your arms all the way up, extend down to really open up the chest, get the shoulders involved. Looking good, keep going. Golf requires power, control, and flexibility. Now this workout is going to help you improve all three. It includes some familiar primal movements as well as some new exercises. And listen, if you've never played golf before, I guarantee you're probably gonna wanna try it after this. Let's go ahead and take our hands on our hips, kick that right heel up behind us, and left heel, just really stretching out the quads, pushing that hip forward every time you give me a nice heel kick back. Waking up the hamstrings and the hips all at the same time. Lots of lower body going on. For four, Three, we're gonna bring it center for a march. Two, last one either side. Left knee drives up. Just a nice march right here. You can take your hands all the way up in front of you. So you're gonna have three mods today. Mod one is the easiest, all the way up to mod three, which is the most challenging. Right here is my girl Stephanie in mod one. If you're new to the game, or maybe you're playing for fun, you're gonna learn the basic fundamentals right here in mod one. What's up, Steph? Moving back to mod two right here is my guy, Stefan. Now, if you're a novice player, then mod two is for you. So. Mod three over here is my girl, Char. Now, this is the most challenging of all the mods. It demands more strength, more balance, and a little bit more coordination of the body right here. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Cool. So remember, you can always evolve up or mod down, depending on your level. I want you to change it up as necessary. You're still gonna get a really effective workout. Take our hands on our hips and just shuffle right to left just to get the heart rate up. If you feel comfortable using your arms, it's just opposite arm, opposite leg. Something nice and easy side to side. So we want to focus on that lateral movement. So when you take it over into your stance, you're going to feel it right, shifting left. Or maybe if you're a lefty, you'd lift back swing left shift into the right. Now, if any of the movements today are confusing to you, Jan has got the tutorials on all the movements. Go ahead and check them out to make sure that your form is correct so you're getting the most out of your workout. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Take your feet center. I want you to pull your heel up, grab your ankle, find your balance. Left hand up to the sky. Stand up nice and tall. Find that quad stretch. Three, two, go ahead and switch. Left hand, left ankle, thighs together, nice and tall. And we're gonna hold for four, three, two, let it go, Zen swing it out, standing up nice and tall. Lift that left heel, right heel, keep the chest open, palms forward. Try to reach that right hand back behind you. Now we're gonna have two rounds of seven exercises repeated and accompanied by a blowout, which all focus on the key elements your body is going to use while you're on the course. Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah. You got four more seconds. Three, two, one. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale the arms down, and we're ready to get started in our first round of set A. How are we feeling? Good. Nice and loose? Mm-hmm. Cool. So our first movement today is bent over Zen swing. I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I want you to come down into a nice hinge at your hips. So you're almost in a squat right here. The hands come down in front of you, and you're gonna Give me that same Zen swing we just finished off in the warm up. We're just gonna bend it over in front of us. In three, two, one, here we go. So, what I want you to see is the belly button pulled in. I want the chest to be over the thighs and at a nice light angle. So, you're gonna see Stefan in mod two, his chest is slightly lifted, his belly sucked in, and he's really manipulating his core right here. So, even just looking at this, you can tell that we're gonna start perfecting our drive today, yeah? The drive has force, and it needs to be able to come straight through with all that torque on the body. In mod three right here, Char's bending over and holding on just like she has her club in her hand. You can do this getting out of your car while you're walking onto the course at your first tee off. Really let the shoulders open up and start to really open up that chest. You got three, two, 
One, go ahead and shake it out. Nice work, guys. We have our rowing single leg deadlift coming up. So I want you to place that right leg back behind you. You're gonna grab an imaginary barbell in front of you. As you lower down, you're gonna find that nice row at the top. Lower your arms, go ahead and lift up and balance. Goes right back down, same leg. So it's down, row, lower, balance. Let's go in three, two, one, nice and easy. Find your balance the first time as you're going over. A deadlift is really challenging in itself, especially because I want you to stay in that nice straight line. Chest forward, leg back, squeeze the back together. I want you to make my hand disappear the next time you go down. You ready for it? Yep. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Perfect, there you go. Lift, you guys have about one more on this right hand side. And go ahead and switch legs. So you're gonna see him mod too, his hands are facing in. It's like he's got imaginary dumbbells in each hand. The heavier you imagine, the more you engage your muscles. A little heavier, that's what's gonna fire up the arms right there. So many muscles to look at, just like make me amazed right now. This is great. I don't need to go anywhere else. I can just watch really quick. Three, two, good work, one. Okay guys, we have our cross crawl coming up, so we're gonna put your hands behind your head. Step your feet out just about hip distance apart. And we're gonna bring our knee and elbow to touch. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and easy, it's rotating the core and finding balance on that leg. So there's no pause in the center, it's gonna fire up right to left. Keep the elbows pushing back. You're gonna see a mod one, she has her hands right on top of her shoulders crossing, but that's gonna keep her chest lifted. I don't want her to crunch forward. I want her to stand up straight and maintain good posture. Engage your core. Keeping it nice and tight, and you can actually get that elbow over the knee, yeah? Perfect, there it is, nice stuff. Mod two, arms are still crossed, they're actually stacked right here, so the elbows are in line with the shoulder. There we go, keep the shoulders away from the ears. That's so beautiful of you. Very Russian-like. <laughs> you guys have about five more seconds, we're almost there. Finish off, three, two, one, exhale. The hay baler's coming up. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart, so we're gonna actually sit down into a squat. Now this is all gonna take place on the right-hand side first. Outside of your hip, throw it up and over. Outside of the hip, throw it up and over. Let's go, three, two, meet me down in one. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. There we go. Power up. I want this heel to lift and the hips almost to twist. There we go. Really manipulate that core. Get it, Shar. Exhale, lift. Perfect. So think about your follow through in your swing. You have your back swing, and as you follow through, switch sides, your hip follows along, and you're having that drive, that powerful drive. This is where it's coming from right here. Fire up the intensity no matter what mod you're doing right here. I wanna see that same heaviness. Throw it, pick it up, throw it. There it is, Steph, do it again. Now pick me up. Come on, I'm ready. Go, I'm three, three you out. short, two, that's no big deal, one. <laughs> Okay, relax right there, guys. We have our windmill coming up. So both toes turn to the right, just slightly. We're gonna take our left hand up to the sky, right palm on the inside of your thigh. And we're gonna slightly bend our knees and start to lower all the way down. Left hand reaches all the way up. Let's go in three, two, one. Down, 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 hold, and lift. Let's do that again. Lower, 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 hold, and lift. So you're really gonna feel a nice stretch on that lat, on that side body right now. So fingers all the way up, she's looking up at her hand and reaching up even higher as you come up. Let's switch sides. Turn both toes to the left, shift your hips, palm on the inside of your thigh, slight bend in the knee. She's really gonna look up and then fingers straight up. Look at that. Really lift up out of that shoulder. You have 10 more seconds. Take your time, it's three seconds down. That's fantastic, can you bend your knees a little bit for me? There we go, nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming down onto our back, we have our moving bridge. So, I want your hands out to the side. I want you to press your hips up to the ceiling, and I want you to extend one leg out at a time. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. After your hips are lifted, the way you're gonna get your hips up is just by pressing into your heels. You'll see the difference in mod one is, Stephanie's gonna really power up from the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back, and as she lifts up, the belly drops back in. So we're looking for that nice flat line from your knees down to your shoulders. Keeping a neutral neck position with your head on the ground, remember to breathe. Inhale is on the down, exhale on the lift. There it is, cool. In mod two, you've got Stefan driving his knee up one at a time, 
Go ahead and hit my hand. So the toes are still lifted up off the floor. He's powering up the front side of his legs and the back side. That's it. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Coming up next, the fourth field swinger. You're going to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And we're going to come forward right here. So I want your palms to face in towards one another. You're going to open up slowly and connect down, connect down. So slow up, fast down. Slow up, fast down. In three, two, one, let's begin. So your right hand all of a sudden becomes your left. Slow up, drive it down. Think about your drive. You're taking your slow backswing, and then as soon as you come through, it's a drive, powerful drive as you come through, right? So the slow backhand up, drive it down. Slow up, drive it down. Slow, a little slower. Slow up, drive it down. That's great. Perfect. Can you add a breath in for me? Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up. You focusing on a ball? You see one in front of you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You gotta focus, you gotta see it. Make one happen, you have five more seconds. Hit it. In three, two, one. Excellent work. Supine scissors and prone flutters are your blowout. So we're gonna start laying on our back, hands out to the side, head on the floor. You're gonna lift your toes up and hover. Turn your toes out. Heels are connected, and you're gonna cross over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Your prone flutter flips over. Your thumbs are up to the sky. You're gonna lift, and you're gonna flutter right here in prone position. Your time's gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. So, this is your blow. You have 90 seconds to really lock it in right now. So again, I want your toes out and your heels in. Over, under, over, under. Nice work, you got it. Now when we flip it over on our belly in about 15 more seconds, you're gonna fire up the back side of the body. Lots of core work right here. Complete core work back and front. Who said you have to be working your abs laying on your back? Watch what happens when you flip it over in three, two, one. Go ahead, on your belly, head forward. Reach your arms out in front of you. Go ahead and lift up and start that flutter right as soon as you get there. Time waits for no one, neither do I. Let's do it. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. So you're gonna see in mod one right here, her hands are pulled back to her shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's great, Steph, nice work. Tiny little flutters in the back of her legs. You guys have about eight more seconds in you? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 20. yeah. 20 seconds, he said. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> he just amped it up for you guys. Way to go, Stefan. You got eight seconds now. You would have been done already. Are you ready to flip <laughs> it over in three, <laughs> two, one? Here we go, flip it back over. And you're gonna see right here, Arms out to the T, and his legs in mod two are gonna be a little bit higher. So the higher the legs, the easier it's gonna be. That doesn't mean it's easy. These are very challenging. So mod one, legs all the way up to the ceiling right here. Beautiful. You guys have three, two, one, and relax. Excellent job. You got yourself a 45 second break. It's gonna fly by. Go grab some water right now. Cool. I could always use some water too, right? Mm -hmm. It's good for the body. It's good for the mind. Take a load off, Fanny. <sighs> awesome job, everyone. So proud of you guys, that was a great job. Okay, second round of set A coming up. We're gonna have our bent over Zen swing to start. So let's go ahead and take our chest slightly over our thighs, grab hold of that club right here, and we're gonna swing it right and left, right and left. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. Has this ever happened to you? You pull into the golf course, get out of your car, take your clubs, you hit the first hole, and you still haven't moved at all. Chances are that first swing of the day is probably gonna be really rusty. Do this at your car. Impress your friends a little bit, warm it up. It'll help you hit a more powerful first drive and an easier first hole as a result. And who doesn't want that? Take the load off. Start from the top, hit. Nice. Again, little hit. Perfect. Slight bend in the knee. You guys have three, two, one, and up top. High five. Rock and roll, baby. Rowing single leg deadlift. Right leg back behind you, grab your apparatus, take your chest forward, flex up that back leg, pull it in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lower down, and go ahead and balance at the top. So down, 
row, lower, and lift. Here we go, three, two, one, and go ahead and begin. So there's three different mods right here, and they're all gonna be broken down in the tutorials by Jana. If you want, go ahead and check it out so you know which one is for you. Now, hey, you might have really flexible legs, and your core might be a little bit weaker. That's okay. Find your balance, find the mod that's right for you, and work your way up. Go ahead and switch legs. A little bit more flexibility in the back of the leg is gonna help you go forward even more. Contract that core, really engage it as you lift. Step in mod one is gonna tap that foot down as she rolls through. Mod two, you're gonna see just a slight tap of the foot back here, and again, the dumbbells. Three, nice work, two, one, and recover. Moving right along into our cross crawl, let's take our hands back behind our head, and we're gonna bring our knee and elbow to touch. In three, cross crawl, two, and one. Just like your swing, it's not about how fast it is. It's the fluidity that counts. Whatever the degree of rotation, control it. Elbow to knee, you got it. My little dancer friend, a little higher. Look at that. I'm your guide for your knee. That's perfect. Get it, Char. Every time you twist, exhale. There it is. It feels good to breathe, man. Listen, if you're moving a lot, chances are, You've forgotten to breathe and you start holding your breath. And it's not until you stop a movement that you're actually like and realize, hey, I wasn't breathing that entire time. So what we need to do is let go of it right here. And it actually makes the move a lot easier. Up top, three, two, one, cool. The hay baler's coming up. Feet nice and wide, down outside of the right thigh. Twist and exhale. Exhale, twist. Three, two, one, here we go. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good job, Steph. Keep that core engaged. Inhale, exhale, twist. Now, these mods may all look similar in that they're squatting and twisting, but the difference is how deep into the squat they're getting and the range of motion on the twist. Switch sides. It's good to imagine throwing something real in your life. Just clothes, right? That's what I have to do when I get home. Clothes everywhere. Get them out. The point of imagining a real physical object is to encourage the contraction of your muscles. You don't want to be loose in your movements. You want to be engaged. Because the more you engage your muscles, the stronger they will get. Three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Windmill's coming up. Let's go ahead and turn both of our feet to the right-hand side. Now, a lot of times without bending your knee, you're going to extend through and push your hip back. So I want us to all have slight bends in our knees to start off with. Open the palm, open the palm in three, down to the right two, and one. Let's lower, 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 look up, lift, lift, lift. So it's down, three, two, one, hold, and up. Down, 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 hold, and up. So QL, the so side of the body. This is perfect actually right here. <laughs> I won't do it again. Switch sides. <laughs> Laughing is great. It says so in chicken soup for the teenage self. Lower down, and I'm gonna. Oh, Steph, this is gonna be a new fun game. Really pull up, pull up, pull up. Right here, let me see you pull up. Good. Lower down, right here. Pull down, pull down, pull down. Exhale. Three, two, one. Okay. Truce. Nice work. I thought this was where my thighs on my ass. <laughs> All the way around. <laughs> Moving bridge. Take it down. Coming onto your back right here. Heels down, toes up, press the heels, and go ahead and extend one leg at a time. Let's go, three, two, one, and begin. Now, as you're going along, I see this happen all the time. Lower, lower, and by the end of the 45, you're doing it down here. Hey, listen, if you gotta move down a mod to keep your form, that's when you do it. As soon as you start to see that form just fade away, choose a different mod and rock that one out. Or, if you wanna take a pause, get a breath and come back into it and you can maintain that form, go for it. In mod one, drop the hips, exhale, push. Drop the hips, exhale, push. That's awesome right there. Hands are gonna be just a little bit lower in mod two compared to mod three. And just a knee lift. Three, two, one. And go ahead and high five it out for me. Sugar up top, there we go. Okay, force field swinger guys, stand it on up. Just like a magnet, it comes down, it connects, it opens. I want it slow up and forceful down. Slow up, 
forceful, slow, forceful, slow, force. Down three, two, join in one. Here we go. Start applying it to your game right here. Start thinking about it. Golf is all about focus. You have one opportunity, one chance to find that connection and make the most out of it. I want you to focus down. Just imagine that T right in the center of your legs, right? It's right slightly out in front of you. Your stance is so important. You're locked into that ground. Your hips aren't swinging anywhere until you ask them to, yeah? You got it. Hit the hand. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're coming down for supine scissors and prone flutters. Let's go ahead and lay down on our back. We're gonna start with our arms out on T, head on the floor, toes out, heels in, lift the feet off the floor. Time starts in three, two, one, let's go. Nice and big in those scissors right here. As big as you can make them, as fast as you can go. Work your moms again. They still exist here in the blowout, so I want you to pay attention. Rock and roll, Stefan. Turn those heels in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Three, two, one, flip it over. On that belly, directly into the prone flutter. She's gonna pull her hands in towards her shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make my hand disappear. Aha, look at that. Perfect. Four, three, two, one. Flip it back immediately, as quickly as you can. Go right into it. Scissors. Over, under, over, under. Nice work. Keep your feet above my hands. Keep your feet above my hands. Can you get a little lower? How are you doing back there, A little step? lower? I'm surviving. Come on, push through. Ugh. Um, there was a request to hold this for another 20 oh. seconds, and it came from Stefan. You have 20 more seconds, guys. You can do this. Lower your legs a little bit if you can. Go for it. Sure. There it is, baby girl. Hold tight. You got 10, 9, 8, 7. Count it with me. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Flip it up. We're on the belly, on the belly. Let's go, let's go. You have less than 20 seconds. Hit it hard right here. Arms out to that 45 degrees. Squeeze my hands with your shoulders. You got it? Yep. Find that balance. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze tight, tight, tight. Shoelaces down to the floor. You're almost there. You got five. You got four. You got three, two, one. Nice job. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. You got 45 seconds of a break. Go ahead and take it. Grab a sip of water. Whew. You guys stick together, huh? Their brother over there. <laughs> Those who play together stay together. Mm hmm. I like that. Have you guys noticed that all these primal movements have been fine-tuned to specifically meet your golf needs? Now, it's just a matter of perfecting these movements and really committing them to muscle memory, and all of a sudden, you'll see a real change in your golf game. You guys ready to go into our first round of set B? Yeah. Yes, we are. Squatting Zen Swing, hands out to the side. Take your hips down, back behind you. Find a nice squat. Start ringing it out, left to right. Here we go. Three. Two, and one. Really stay nice and low as much as you can. Sink your weight back into those heels. Get your knee over the ankle. I'm gonna take a wild guess. You can probably go about a half an inch lower. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. Everyone sees it, right? Everyone knows, Char, just get lower. There it is. Way to be a team player. Rocking it out side to side. I want you to rotate it as far as you can. Make sure your hips are still. Really open up those hands. Strengthen out the elbows. Look at that. You're like an atlas moving around. Take the abs in, sit the hips back just a little bit more. You're gonna notice in mod two right here that it's just a 70 degree squat. So you're not gonna be as far down as mod three, but you're still getting the killer leg workout. Three, two, one, shake out the legs. How do they feel? Nice static squat for you. Huh? Single leg putter coming up. We're gonna find our balance. Plant that foot down, lower all the way down. Start rocking it side. To side, side, to side. In three, two, one. Now it might be a small movement. It's really gonna fire up in your core because the more you really rock that upper body, the more your core has to fire up to catch your balance, right? So your core is used if you're falling at any time or even taking a step forward. The muscles in your core immediately engage to catch you. Let's go ahead and switch legs right now. So you're gonna see Steph right here just to actually get the movement in the body, and this is a great place to start for everybody. Left leg back behind you, flex that foot, 
keep the core nice and tight and the movement in front of you is just going to be very slight. As you move along, you're going to see in mod two right here, the range of motion becomes a little bit bigger right here and the actual depth of the deadlift becomes a little bit lower as well. Nice work. Three, two, one. Go ahead and shake it out. The hip twister is coming up next. Go ahead and put your hands right behind your ears, fingertips on the earlobes. I want you to go ahead and we're going to twist open to the right. Back heel lifts, back through center, back heel lifts, back through center. Let's join in three, two, one. And it goes right, center, left, center. It's thriller, thriller night. Add the arms. Just kidding. It actually is going to help your drive quite a bit, right? Because the follow through has that entire hip propulsion right there. And that's where your power is really going to come from. You're going to see a big difference between the mods right here. With the arms crossed up in mod one, the heel still lifts and the hip still twists. So the more and more you progress, the lower you should get in the squat and your arms get lifted. So as the arms lift, the chest gets lifted and the core gets involved. Anytime you hear the word core, the breath has to follow along. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake it out. You might want to do some hip twists right here. <laughs> okay, the mini windshield wiper starts by laying on our back. I'm going to throw it to Char. Pop quiz. Arms out to the side, head on the floor. Now the mini windshield wiper looks as so. It's a slow down for two, up through center, over for two, up through center. Now her legs are slightly bent and they're over her hips with the knees. In three, everybody, two and one. High five, good work. These are one of my faves, so I always love to test my friends because they're super awesome and they usually know what's up. And if they don't, you don't even want to know what happens. Do you know what happens? No, I don't want to know. The 100 <laughs> burpee contest begins. Another day, you passed. In mod two, the knees are going to be right over those hips, but the feet are going to be a little bit more dropped. So the feet are now in line with the knees. He's going to lower down, and it's a little bit of a higher hover, not as close to the floor as you're going to see in mod three. Still a ton of work. These are not easy right here. In mod one, you're going to see feet are going to go on the floor. Keep the knees squeezing together. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Coming up, push swing pull, but it's coming from a side plank. Okay. So coming down onto your forearms, I want you to stack your arms to start. We're going to open up to the right. So it looks like this. Stacking out to the right. There we go. Push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull. Let's go ahead in three, two, one, and begin. So a side plank. We're nice and lifted from underneath the side of our body. My feet are nice and flexed, stacked. Pulling up from the kneecaps. Palm goes up, swing, and it pulls right down. Push, swing, pull. If you say it in your brain, the pattern is actually going to start happening so much easier. You don't have to say it out loud, but you can say it in your head, right? Go ahead and twist around because, hey, if there's other people around, they're going to start thinking you're crazy if you're talking out loud like this. Flip it over, right? Nice work. Now you're going to see in mod one right here, her bottom knee is stacked underneath, almost like a kickstand. So it's really helping her lift from underneath. And that hip can always get just a little bit higher. No, it can't. Because as we start to go through, we start to sink down. Lift up. Three, two, one. Go ahead and relax, guys. Laying down on your back for the drawbridge right here. So we're going to walk our feet out. And we're going to walk our feet in. Hands go out. Palms up to the ceiling. Let your head stay flat on the floor. Lift your hips up. And we're going to walk one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Let's go all together, everyone. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we go out. Out, 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 in, 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 in. Do it again. Out for four, in for four. Now you're going to see a definite difference between our modifications. Always use the tutorial as you need. And if you want to mod up or down, go there if you're unsure of how to do any of the movements. Over here in mod two, Stefan is only taking two steps out and two steps in. We're really focused on building lower back and hip strength here. As your feet walk back in, your hips have to go up. So watch, his hips start here. Oh, nice work. He's super strong right here. You're so strong. How did you turn this page? That's awesome. You've got three, two, one. Exhale, roll down. Nice work, guys. We have our rotating Saxon. So stand it up. We're going to take our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So the rotating Saxon looks like this. Over to the right, up through center, twist to the right, 
back through center, opposite side. Left, center, twist, center. This is gonna feel great. Three, two, one, extend through the fingers. Head stays between the arms as you come through. Head stays between the arms as you twist. Now, don't let your arms touch your ears. That means your head's not moving or your body's not moving with your arms. So the next time you're at a sporting event and you start doing the wave, you can actually get your rotating Saxon in. You'll be cheesy, but you'll also be getting a workout in. Hey, throw it in whenever you can, right? I'm always thinking about that. You gotta earn it, right? Earn these sides, earn these stripes. Now over at Mod 2, he's going to have nice wide Egyptian arms. So it's gonna be taking the pressure off his shoulders just a little bit more. One more and a high five. Bring it back, three, two, one. Nice. Coming up, guys, our first blowout, semi-squat rotator. Your hands are gonna be clasped for it. And then right into our single leg push swing pull. So both of these are gonna be standing up. Clasp those hands, roll your shoulders down and back, sink down into a semi-squat, rotate right and left. Three, two, one, let's start right here. That single leg push swing pull is gonna come up in about another 25 seconds. And I'm gonna do it with you. It's the same arms you just gave me on the floor, but we're gonna be standing up, yes? It's gonna be right leg, we're gonna do it nice and slow all together. I want 10 more seconds right now. I want you to count from 10, I want you to go to nine, I want you to go from eight. Here we go, ready? Nine. Eight, seven, five, four, six. six. How are you Nervous. counting? Four. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right leg up, <laughs> palms up to the ceiling. Stefan, we're going to have some work to do. Push those arms forward, swing the arms up, pull the arms down. Push them up, swing them back, pull it in. Here we go. Push, swing, pull, push, swing, pull, out, up and around. So your shoulder's able to move around multi directions, right? We have to have nice, loose shoulders to be able to swing through. Any tightness in the shoulders, really gonna limit our swing right here. Switch sides. Left leg up, start the hands in. Push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull, push, swing, pull, push. Give that resistance. I want one more rep. Three, two, swing it around, pull it in. One, right back, it's rotators. 10 more seconds, fire Let's it up. Go, Can we all count together? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. And relax, excellent job guys. You got yourself a 45 second break. I, I was Use it wisely. Some background. <laughs> what happens when I put you on the spot? You'll be ready next time. I know it. Five. I just um, call five from now on. Five. <laughs> Maybe this has happened to you. Have you ever come back a rusty player after a long winter and been frustrated with your performance? This workout will strengthen the movement patterns necessary for golf so you don't waste any time off the course and bring you back even stronger than before you left. That sounds good, right? Sounds good. That sounds great. Moving into our second round of set B. It starts with that squatting zen swing. So take your feet nice and wide, hip distance apart. Sink down to that 90 degree squat, hands out. Rotate it right and left. Here we go. In three, two, one. Join in. This is a feel good moment. This is kind of resembling the dance that my mom does at every family function, except she usually has a leg in. Little Elaine kick. One of my signatures, kind of like it. Seriously, guys, when you think of the golf swing, it's all about keeping your lower body still while you twist your upper body. Now, this exercise is training us to do exactly that. So it doesn't matter how high or how low your squat is, whether you're mod one or mod three or even mod two, Stefan here, Find the depth of squat that's right for you. 70 degrees, 30 degrees, and 90 degrees. Start to really work your level. You got three, two, one, shake it out. Legs are burning. Single leg putter coming up. So go ahead and take that right leg back behind you. Now it's essential to find your balance before you go down. How's my putting game? There we go, three, two, one, Force to be reckoned with. Let's go. They're nice and slow controlled. The best putts have the most control. It's all about power within your body, having the most control over your muscles, even having control over your breath. Imagine having the hiccups while you putt. 
That would be the worst. Go ahead and switch. Nice. You're so concentrated. I can't even mess you up. What hiccups. She's in a zen moment right here. I love it. Fire up that back leg. This is a beautiful, nice T right here. Nice straight line, strong standing leg. It's impeccable. A little hit, a little hit. Perfect. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Solid as a rock, these guys are. Hip twisters up next. Hands behind your ears. We're gonna twist that back foot, twisting to the right, center, left, center. It's always left leg to the right and right leg to the left. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Nice and easy. Thrust, thrust. It's really about that power from the entire pelvic girdle right here. And right on the back side of it is all that glute, right? One of the most powerful muscles in the entire body is your glute. It drives to give you that nice exertion right there. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Nice. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I'm talking about. Heel lifts. Keep that other foot planted. Nice. I want your elbows to really just hit the same line. That's perfect. Hit back. Nice. I gotta watch out. Your torque is watch awesome. You guys have about five more seconds. We're almost there. Three, two, one, exhale. We have our mini windshield wiper coming up next. So lay down on your back, take your hands out to the side, and let your head just rest down on that floor. I want your focus up to the ceiling, and no matter where your feet placement is, I want you to rock it, okay? Inhale for me. We're gonna drop our legs over to the right in three, two, one, here we go. Inhale over, hold. Exhale up and over to the left. Straight through center and keep it rocking. So you're gonna use two full counts. One over, two, hold. Exhale up and over and hold again. So the more you take your heels away from your bum, the more challenging it's gonna be. So first they start on the floor in mod one, mod two, they're up in line with your knees, and in mod three, they're at a 90 degree angle. I wanna see how far you can go down with those knees. Really test yourself right here. Fire it up, good. Got 10 more seconds. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an adjustment. Knees over your hips, get those heels up just a little bit. That's it right there. Three, two, one, and exhale. All I did was drop his knees away from his belly button so that his knees were right up over his hips. That's all you gotta do. Then the lower abs kick in. Push swing pull from our side plank right here. Starting down on our forearms and stack your arms one at a time. So as we come over to that right, your palm is facing up. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. It's a push, it's a swing, pull. Push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull. And every single time you pull that arm down, it pulls down into a nice 90 degree angle. Pull it down. There it is, nice work. Really drive that elbow in. One more, come on. We're switching sides right now. Go ahead and replace that elbow. Open up at the top, pressing that bottom hip up. There it goes. Now, take a nice inhale for me. On your exhale, I want you to lift up a little higher. Exhale, lift. Cool. I get into the danger zone with my face a lot. But I like it. Live on the wild side. Three, two, excellent. One, nice job, guys. Laying down on our back for our drawbridge. So, hands out to the side, palms up. I'm gonna have you lift your hips up. And just like Stefan, you're gonna keep your hips lifted, right? As you walk your feet back in and out. Four steps out, four steps in. Three, two, one, here we go. Out, 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 in, 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 in. Naturally, you're gonna see this in mod three right here, that when her legs extend all the way out, your hips drop slightly. And it's just by millimeters, maybe a couple inches depending on your strength, right? Or depending on how extended your legs are. Because the further your legs are from your body, the more parallel your body will be with the floor. So we're really focusing on the glutes and the lower back to lift up. Exhale, 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 press, press, press. A little help goes a long way, right? Just a finger right here. Sometimes it's a mental game. Bring it in for me, five more seconds. You got one more pass right here, Charlotte. Let's go, three, two, walk it in, and one. Lower the hips down, awesome job up top. Good job, girlfriend. Okay, guys, rotating Saxon, stand it on up. I want you to take your hands up overhead, toes facing forward, up over to the right, back through center, twist, back through center. Up over to the left, through center, twist, back through center. Here we go, all together. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, twist. I'm talking about the breath. Don't just let it be words that are entering your ear and leaving. Apply it, try it in your head. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, pull up. Inhale, exhale, unwind. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Feels different, right? You might get a little lightheaded first, but hey, your body gets used to it. Give it the oxygen the body needs. Muscles work better when they're full of oxygen. Three, two, one, and relax. Here is our final blowout of set B. You guys ready? Yeah. Semi-squat rotator, and then again, our single leg push, swing, pull, either leg, and our rotator starts it off. Hands clasped in front, shoulders down and back, rotating right and left. Three, two, one, here we go. So as you start to really wake up the sides of the body, each and every rotation is gonna get deeper and deeper, side to side. So she's actually gonna hit my hands. And that's not 180, you ready to hit 180? That's 180, good. Go Char, go Char, go Char, hit, hit. You have eight, seven, Char, six, five, four, three, two, one, right leg up. Palms up to the ceiling, roll the shoulder blades down and back, three, two, one, here we go. It's a push, it's a swing, it's a pull. It's a push, a swing, and a pull. Push, swing, hi-ya, push, swing, oh, cha. There it is. Smile it up, you got three. Switching legs two, switching legs one. Left leg up, here we go. Keep those hands rocking wherever they were, right? It's the same hand motion, it's just switching legs. Three, two, keep the hands going, switch legs right now. Switch legs, I want one, I want two. Switch legs, can you keep the arms going? Switch legs, can you keep going? Switch legs. Look at that, so much focus going on. Three, two, last leg. One more, all the way around, push, swing, pull, jump into that semi-squat rotator right here, finish it up. You have six seconds, guys, come on. Here we go, here we go, bring it home. We got three, two, one, and excellent job. Well done, up top, I counted. up top. <laughs> Yes! He counted! That was Evolve Golf One Standard Program. Congratulations for making it through. We're gonna get cooled down and we're gonna get wrapped up right here. So I want you to take a sip of water. <sighs> awesome job, everyone. Let's get cooled down. So proud of you guys for finishing that. That was Evolve Golf One Standard Program. Let's really cool our bodies down all together. Place your hands on your hips. Draw the elbows back together. Place the right leg back behind you. Drop the heel down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more just like this. We're gonna go ahead and plant that back heel down. Slide it in about six inches. Bend the back leg right here. So you're gonna get a nice Achilles stretch. All we're gonna do is flip our toe under and press the top of the foot down to the floor. Really stretch out the front of the leg right here, yeah? You can press your hands down as well. Shoulder blades slide down your back. Chest stays nice and lifted. And go ahead and shake it out. Right leg stays planted, left leg back behind you. Exhale the heel down, inhale lift. Exhale down, inhale lift. Here we go. Three, two, Exhale, one, plant that heel back down, slide it in about six inches, bend the back leg as well, and now press the hands down. And we're gonna flip that shoe over. Shoelaces down to the ground, top of the foot down, still press the hands down towards the floor. If you're cramping up in your foot, spread your toes nice and wide. Three, two, shake it out right now. And we're gonna open up into that nice, light, zen swing. If you can't get your hands up super tall, you can let them go down by your side. Absolutely fine right here. Whatever feels good. This is just about letting the body get exactly what it needs. And that's gonna be different every day, each and every one of us. Inhale the arms all the way up on this last one. Cross the hands, reach all the way up, step the feet together. Exhale, we're gonna reach for that right ankle. Find the connection between the thighs. Pull that heel into your booty. Stand up nice and tall. It's just a stretch in the quad. Go ahead and switch. 
Find that ankle, find the toe. Stand up nice and tall. So proud of you guys today. Step it out, roll the shoulders down and back. Let the head drop right. Let the head drop left. Meet me through center. I want you to hug yourself. Curl the spine. I want you to arch and look up. Inhale, hug. Exhale, open. Final deep breath, arms all the way up. Exhale, hands down to heart center and shake your hair out. Give yourself a big round of applause. That was a standard program of golf number one. Congratulations, team, bring it in. Woo. I love mm -hmm. these guys. They worked so hard for me and so did you. I'm Rebecca, this is my team, and this is Evolve. Yeah. Yeah.